CorelDRAW 9 improves its internet publishing features. Now, users can publish CorelDRAW documents in various HTML layouts. We will focus on the second layout method available in CorelDRAW 9, layers. Layers were introduced in version 4 of Netscape Communicator in order to enhance dynamic HTML authoring. Unfortunately, this layout method is not supported by non-Netscape web browsers. Let's take our Dolphin 2000 document. In the last module, we linked both pages to each other. What we will do here is further modify the document to take advantage of layers. If we were to publish our document to the internet as is, most of the text in the second page will be converted to graphics. What we want to do is make the text objects HTML compatible. This will reduce the overall download time. Switch to the second page. With your pick tool, right click a text object and convert to paragraph text. Right click the same text object and make text HTML compatible. Repeat the process for the rest of the text objects on the page. Once we are ready to publish our document, we go to File, Publish to Internet. From here we have some options to choose. First, we need to determine a path where the HTML source code will be placed. Next, we want to specify a location to place the images. Here we have a choice of calling the image folder the same name as the HTML source file, or any name we choose. Here we have chosen the checkbox where the HTML file name is the same as the folder. Finally, we choose the type of HTML layout we want to use. We choose the second layout method, Layers. Click Next. The next step is to determine the image format. Here we simply choose the JPEG format. The following two options concern the color palette and size. With both checked, we are sure that the image size and color palette used will be viewable by most web surfers. Click Next. The last screen of our export gives us a chance to rename each page as a valid HTML document and to include a title to each page. Click Finish. Once completed, simply use your web browser and open the corresponding HTML file. The text has been converted to HTML-compatible text and not converted to an image.